Today's video um, is once again venturing into the world of mail order and um, some of the not only unethical, but frankly, um, setting you up for um, illegal problems uh, of which you may be personally responsible for. Um, in some cases, um, the sellers, in fact, uh, themselves are violating the law. Uh, we just had a situation where we, we lost a sale to a mail order house on a product that we sell. And the trigger was that it's tax free. Um, that you don't have to pay sales tax. And um, I'm an attorney for the state of Ohio. I'm intimately familiar with, um, you know, the requirements of different states. And they vary from state to state, don't get me wrong. But um, this seller um, told the customer that he didn't have to pay any sales tax. Well, that's not true. Um, each state does have a requirement that uh, if you purchase something out of state upon which no sales tax has been levied, that you're obligated um, to pay your state that amount and you report it on your uh, income tax um, as you file your state taxes. But I just wanted to hold up for the benefit of those organizations that like to play this game. The state of Ohio is very, very clear that you don't have to have um, what's known as nexus or physical contact with the state of Ohio. And most specifically, um, the state of Ohio deems that you do have uh, contact with the state. Um, if your gross receipts into Ohio exceed $100,000, uh, or you have um, over uh, 200 or more separate transactions into the state. Um, so that's an obligation on the part of the seller uh, to collect the taxes at that point and to um, at the end of the year, report them to the state of Ohio and um, pay them. Um, if they don't, um, you as a buyer or a purchaser of goods uh, have the obligation to report it to the state of Ohio itself. And, you know, again, this goes back to the, the ethical or, or moral behavior, who, who you're buying stuff from on a mail order basis. And... Um, you know, if they're more than willing to, you know, to set you up for some tax problems, um, you know, what else are they doing to you in this whole picture? And, um, you know, I'm sorry, you know, I, I'm not creating these sort of things. You know, these are kind of what is. So um, don't buy the bait. Um, there are organizations out there that are quite large have been around for years, uh, who are probably complying. Um, I certainly expect people like Crutchfield, uh, Audio Advisor, and um, uh, Audio Advice. They're big mail order houses, and, and, and I'm sure that they're collecting the taxes that they need to. But there's a lot of little itchies and scratchies out there that, um, you know, Lord knows what they're doing, but clearly they are setting you up. And, um, you know, if you take the bait, well, good luck. But um, that's the reason the law has changed. Um, and, you know, and Amazon collects all the taxes. Uh, eBay collects all the taxes. And um, that's just the way it is. So, um, you know, if you want to roll the dice and play the game, well, that's your personal decision. Um, I don't recommend it. 